Hey, everybody! It's Brain Smasher! Ready to party? I'm fucking ready. Strap your boots on. It's time to fucking party. First portion of tonight's video, collection update. In case you don't know what this is, I've been drinking. Ah, I got nachos in the oven and I've been drinking. The thing you gotta remember, when you're drinking and you make yourself some food and you put it in the oven, don't fuck up. Don't fuck up. I got some beautiful nachos just waiting for me. Getting all hot up there. But first, this is what I've been getting in my mailbox this week. Keep of Klesson through times of war. This is on Peaceville 2014 a reissue on wax for the first time of a really great Norwegian black metal band. Sort of like more of a guttural sort of black metal band. Um, anyways, I've been a fan of this album and this band for so many years. Um, this originally came out in 97, I guess, on Avant Garde. Um, and at the time, and since then, I've pretty much likened this to be sort of like Emperor's little brother, in a way. Anyway, killer fucking record. Happy to have it on vinyl. However, I came sealed, and look what happened. So I've been in touch with uh, Peaceville, and we'll see what they do. Peaceville, as far as I've heard, have been like really cool about uh, damaged stuff and replacing stuff. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty positive about uh, getting a replacement on that or something. Uh, next here we have got uh, Panopticon. This is a you know a new view into what we're going to be hearing uh, on the next. Panopticon release. Decibel put this out in their Flexi series. Uh, so what this is is a demo or rehearsal, I guess, version of uh, a song coming on their on the new Panopticon record. Decibel put this out as a bonus for their new issue of garbage, shall we say? I don't fucking like magazines anymore, especially not Decibel. And you know what pissed me off is they've said okay. When they first announced this, you know, I'm friends with Panopticon, I'm a big fan of Panopticon. I'm gonna try and buy everything that Panopticon puts out from here till I die. Um, Decibel said, okay guys, you have to buy a one year subscription to Decibel's Deluxe Flexi series in order to get this, which was like $60. And I was like, you know what, fuck you, I'm not buying that shit. Don't fucking hold me hostage for this music. Anyways. Um, so they did that, and I was like, fine, bye-bye, I'll never fucking get that. Um, and then they released it online, and I don't know, I guess I was just kind of miffed that everybody gets to hear it on SoundCloud before I get to have it in my hands. Um, oh, oh anyway, I did, so I didn't buy the fucking subscription, but like two weeks later they came out and they were like, oops, we printed a couple, two extra, so, uh, here you go, ten bucks, there was like twenty, twenty-five, thirty or so floating around there, and so I immediately bought it for like $10. I'm happy I had the chance to buy it, but still, I just don't like being fucked around with like that. Anyways, I have been drinking, maybe I'm just feeling some emotions about today, well, like the darkest day in American history. Well, let's not get into politics, because I've been drinking. By the way, 666 subscribers was, I don't know, two weeks ago or so, I've been busy. But I want to thank you for sticking with me. I want to thank you for your support. I want to thank you for any second of your life that you have enjoyed watching me talk about whatever the fuck I talk about. Thank you. I enjoy doing this. It's kind of a one-way communication, but as much as you reciprocate to me, I appreciate it. Uh, this is another thing I got in, in this week. Falkenbach. Asa! Isa. I don't know how to pronounce it. We don't know how to pronounce any of the fucking music we listen to, right? Anyways, I did that Napalm Records video a couple of weeks ago or so, and I realized I'm sorely lacking in the Falkenbach department. I don't have enough Falkenbach records. So I decided to start, I think, with the most recent one, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm just going to work my way back and get probably every single one of them, because as far as I know, none of them are a dud. I've had this thing in my CD player all week. It's fucking great. 
super like bathory worship, I guess you would say. I don't know what it is. He's like Falkenbach isn't all that original. He just takes like the bathory prototype and just does it so fucking well. Has a personality in his, all of his songwriting. I love it to fucking death. This record is a great example of what <laughs> Falkenbach can do. <clears throat> so today I got in. Oh, I don't know. Who cares? Yesterday I got in Battle Lust of Battle and Ancient Warcraft. This, uh, I first heard this back when it first came out. Uh, you know, I've talked about the late 90s when my friends and I were just like buying everything we possibly could. And Hammerheart was one of those labels that we followed pretty regularly. Uh, my buddy got this, a copy of Battle Lust. You know, it came out on Hammerheart. It was a Swedish black metal band. That was all you needed to hear to fucking shell out 10 bucks and get this thing. Uh, my buddy bought it and I loved it. The so first song on here, The Dawn Will Rise, Armageddon, Surprise, Armageddon in Disguise. I can't remember the lyrics, but the first song on here, so fucking cool. Uh, anyways, um, I just, I get, never got around to getting it. And the other day, Hugh Morgan 74, I don't know, um, great YouTuber, love that guy's videos. Uh, he did a review of this, a real quick uh, recap, and I was like, fuck, why haven't I gotten that? It's been like 20 years since I've heard that thing. So I picked it up on Discogs for a couple of bucks. This is really fucking cool. Next today, not metal, but fuck, this is great. Rome's Flowers from Exile. I'm sure a lot of you guys know about Rome. Um, just a great acoustic sort of neo-folk sort of project. Uh, a neo-folk project that thankfully isn't sketchy at all as far as I know. Um, but, god damn. What am I, been drinking or something? Ah, that's good stuff. Uh, but, you know, so this is one of those bands I just didn't have any of their stuff. I listen to them very regularly, and it's really weird to see how hard it is to get this stuff in the United States. Fucking criminal. Fuck every singer-songwriter that there is out there. Rome? Are you kidding me? Rome is fucking amazing. Um, he who fell, we who fell in love with the sea? God. I can listen to that just, you know, that tremolo guitar picked melody over and over and over for so fucking long. Such a beautiful, beautiful act. Um, their newest record? Actually, no. Their newest two? Uh, I don't know. Um, but I love Flower from Exile. And uh, Passage to Rhodesia. I listened to that album <laughs> like two winters ago or something. I swear I forgot I had heard any other music in my life. I listened to Rome's Passage to Rhodesia. I still don't have a copy of this fucking album. It's that it's kind of hard to fucking find. But uh, Rome, oh my fucking lord, it's so good. I want to try and get all the Rome albums that I like. Uh, but honestly, his material is so spotty. I don't know any other artist where I pick the albums that I like here and there, and the other ones are just like, I don't know. I don't want to start talking shit too much, but Rome is one of my favorite acts, and it's just so weird when he's like, here's another album, and you're just like, uh, give me another one. That sucked. Do it again. Don't do that again, but do, do the good one again. Do it good. Do it good this time. And don't do bad again, or else I won't not buy it. Anyways, next, this is a band, I don't really, I don't know. They've been around forever. These these are, uh, these came out in the 90s. You know, that's my kind of thing. Um, my buddies back in the 90s always had these albums, and I was like, yeah, they're pretty good. But somehow, this band always gets kind of passed over and forgotten. Uh <laughs> So, I just decided to, to, and I've been listening to them on and off over the years and thought, man, those are really good fucking albums. And finally I decided, you know what, it's time to fucking buy those albums and have physical copies. That's kind of what I've been doing this year um, since I built these shelves of CDs. You know, just kind of filling in discographies and buying copies of CDs that I've always loved, downloaded, you know, and listened to, but never got around to owning. Discogs is just the fucking... <laughs> the best and worst thing for that. 
Uh, over here you might see I've got a stack of CDs I'm getting rid of. I'm going record shopping tomorrow with my buddy in Wisconsin and uh, hoping to get rid of some CDs to make room for a shitload of CDs I'm probably going to buy. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. This is Thy Serpent. Uh, this is Thy Serpent's first album, Forests of Witchery. Killer, melodic, atmospheric, black metal, late 90s. Uh, this band is from Finland. Check this out. I don't know why these guys aren't more heralded uh, as far as being uh, engineers and pioneers of the genre. Um, really, it's kind of technical. It just, it just has so much to love. Um, I don't know why it took me so long to get these things. I ordered these from someone on Discogs in Croatia. Anyways, this is their second album, Lords of Twilight. Um, I no, so at this point I don't I couldn't tell you the difference between these two. Uh, I need to listen to them more to you know get a better understanding of their discography. I've had Christ Crusher for a really long time. That album is kind of a piece of shit. Um, but this one I didn't even know anything about until uh, maybe earlier last year or so. This is Thy Serpent's final release. It's called Death. And it is very different from all their other stuff. And in fact, it's actually kind of like a dark metal album. Uh, it's got a few of the things that you would love about Thy Serpent, but um, I would liken this to like Rapture, if you've ever heard Rapture's Futile album. Quite a bit like this. It's got that kind of like late 90s dark metal sort of style to it. Anyway, great stuff. I'm happy to finally fill out my Thy Serpent discography. And that does it for this week's collection 